Hey guys, so I just went to Barnes & Noble, picked up a book, and I also picked up the pumpkin spice latte since it came out yesterday, and I'm a basic white girl who embraces the autumn season. Um, oh, sorry about this in the front. This is um, a rosary. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's a rosary that I got when I was in France when I was 16. My mom, my Nana got it for me. And it's really cool because it smells like, um, I forget what kind of wood it smells like, but it's one of my favorite scents. I love the smell of it. And it also kind of smells like vanilla because I got, accidentally got a little vanilla on it. Um, but anyways, today I wanted to talk about I've gone, well, I wanted to talk about how I got my job, and the reason why I'm bringing that up is I've had a lot of questions about my job, and um, basically how I got a job out of college and all that stuff. So, if you don't know, um, do not need to be getting over right there. If you don't know, um, I graduated in 2017. May 2017, so it's been over a year since I graduated, and I graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in International Affairs, which is basically like political science, but it's focused more on international uh, politics and countries rather than domestic. So. That was interesting, and I also was a double major in history, but I didn't complete that degree because I didn't, I was already in college for five years. I didn't want to extend it more, um, even though I don't think I have too much left on that degree. But that being said, I, so I graduated in 2017, I went to Europe for the entire summer um, of 2017. I came back the middle of July, like I wanna say the 15th, July 15th of 2017. And a little bit, like a week before that, I was actually babysitting or dog sitting my best friend, um, my best friend's dog. They actually, so they actually got married in Germany and then they went on their honeymoon in Israel so I was babysitting their dog Reggie who I absolutely adore he is a Scotty and he is adorable He's so cute. Whoa. okay so I think I left off um, with me talking about Reggie um, my best friend's dog that I was babysitting or dog sitting, should I say. Um, my camera cut out, well, it didn't cut out. It basically, I had it on the dashboard, which I don't even know if the footage, footage is good. So I probably should have checked that, but I'll probably keep it anyways. Um, but, so anyways, I was dog sitting him and I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I was in Europe and I thought maybe I would live in Europe, maybe I would move to Europe. And at the time I was dating a guy um, in the UK and it was just like kind of like a summer relationship kind of thing. And I was debating whether or not I wanted to stay in the UK or not, or like all that stuff. Um, Basically, I was having visa troubles and trying to find a job and stuff like that. But then we find out, we, he, he actually found out that because my Nana was born in the UK, I actually can live in the UK for five, on a five year visa. And that's just on my own, not even if I like married someone that was British. But anyways, I obviously didn't move to the UK and I was kind of having a panic attack and I called my mom on I believe it was line or something like that and she was like well why don't you want to why don't you just move to Seattle um, or Portland like you wanted to 
and I was like, that's actually a good idea because I didn't want to be in the South anymore. I kind of wanted to explore something different because I had lived in Georgia for 19 years. So I was like, okay, sure. Um, and I basically, my mom's like, you don't want to move to Portland. Um, and she gave her reasons why. And I was like, okay. So I weighed both Portland and Seattle and I decided on Seattle because I felt like I would like it better. Um, anyways, so I applied to a bunch of jobs, uh, got a few offers, got a few interviews. When I came back t to um, Georgia, July 15th, I got some calls. Um, and so basically I went to Seattle for some interviews and to, um, I ended up accepting a job there and basically within a month I was living in Seattle. I moved to Seattle August 26th, 2017 and um, started my job, all that stuff. But really I just wanted to move there. Um, the job that I had, it was okay. Um, I'm not going to talk badly about it. but. Obviously, I don't work there um, anymore, and I'm happy about that. So after that, I ended up, after I like wasn't working at the job that I originally went to Seattle for, I started working for Starbucks again in January. And at this point, I, reali I was kind of realizing that I wanted to move back to the East Coast because I didn't really like Seattle. And one day I will go into all of the reasons why, because I think they're kind of unpopular opinions or just stuff that people don't really talk about when they're talking about Seattle, because I think a lot of people have a lot of good stuff to say. Seattle's a great city, but um, I don't think I'll ever want to live there again. Um, I mean, unless I was like married and my husband wanted to move there or something like that, and it was like a joint decision. I don't think I would on my own. But that's neither here nor there. We're talking about right now. So what I did when I knew I was gonna move back, and I live in South Carolina now, I basically applied to a ton of jobs. Um, I started applying when I was living in Seattle, and then when I went to California over the summer, I was applying to, to some jobs as well. And I applied to a lot of marketing jobs, but, and no offense to people that like this, I'm just not the type of person that does. A lot of the marketing jobs that I applied to were not actually marketing jobs. They were more of like a sales position. And I guess I just kind of thought of it differently than what it really was. And so I would get interviews when I, when I came to South Carolina, I actually had a few interviews. Um, and they were all these like marketing companies that were mostly sales and I was offered like jobs and stuff but I would turn them down because I just felt like I don't want to do that um and I applied to other jobs as well I was denied from certain jobs like saying that oh we found a better candidate or whatever um I used Indeed, ZipRecruiter, um LinkedIn I know I used more than that. Just like basically any kind of job site I used to try to get a job. And again, I had offers. I applied to different banks. I applied to credit unions. I applied to um, engineering places, like all kinds of places. Obviously nothing to do with my degree in international affairs, which also, something going back to Georgia, when I graduated, I actually was recruited by the Democratic Party of Georgia. Um, I'm not a Democrat or a Republican, but I probably would have gone with that had I stayed in Georgia. And I actually was offered a lot more jobs when I was living in Georgia versus Washington. Um, because my school, my university, even though it's a large university, there's like 35,000 students. A lot of people don't really know 
about the university, like outside of Georgia, um, because it's so young. It was built in 1963, and it became a university like I think in the 90s or something like that I might be wrong maybe it was earlier than that so it hasn't really been like on the map for so long so I think that's it but so in Georgia I was offered more and then I realized in South Carolina I was really given a lot of offers and different and I had the ability to be able to decline some jobs but I will not stress this enough I did not just apply to one job. I applied to probably like over 50 jobs. Well, maybe not. Actually, yes, definitely. And I followed up with people. Like I emailed them, I called, I did whatever it took. And it actually also kind of, well, definitely helped. My mom is an ISFJ, like I've said before. And she's very practical and she's very much like, you need a job, you need a job, you need a job, you need a job. Like, kind of pushing me up all the time. Um, and basically everybody else, my family and like friends and stuff, you know how it is. People are like, oh, what are you doing? What's your job? No, no, no. So, I felt a pressure, especially for my mom, to get a job. And actually, my mom, um, she actually met my boss at the place she works and that's actually how I ended up getting in contact with the company that I work for um, so another thing that's helpful and this is why I struggled a lot in Seattle was this is something I also realized in college it doesn't really matter like how well you did in school it does obviously I don't think I do not advise doing hor horribly in school because it does make things easier when you do well um, but building connections and building those kind of relationships with people go a lot longer of a way like it's who you it's not what you know it's who you know for most of the things uh, unless it's like let's say you're wanting to be a doctor um, like my dad and work in the emergency room um, it's you have to go to school for that you have to be go to medical school and all that stuff um, to be in his position but as far as like my my degrees in international affairs um, I guess I am using it in a way but the stuff I'm doing is more kind of business the business side of things and the reason why I didn't become a business major is I knew at the time if I wanted to do basically anything in business even in finance or accounting um, or something that seems more of a niche um, subject in business you don't have to go to like you don't have to study that in university or college to do that it does make maybe help um, and it looks pretty on your resume but I rather um, study something that I found interesting like international affairs um, and maybe one day I will do something with politics and stuff because I am interested especially internationally but that's kind of basically my whole kind of experience journey finding a job um, and even when I did get the interview at my current company it wasn't like um, like a one-time interview and then you're like set typically when you are looking for more of a career type job it's more of a intensive interview process and that's the other thing to watch out for if you're not really wanting the kind of sales marketing well marketing um, jobs they will do an interview process that seems rigorous um, and they try to add merit again maybe I'm wrong so I if you are in this and you're getting upset about this I I'm not meaning to upset you, but I'm just telling other people, don't be fooled by the rigorous um, interviews. Like, oh, we'll call you back for the second interview, third interview, fourth, fifth, whatever. I found that with those jobs and what the hours were and what the pay was and everything else, the benefits, everything, it wasn't what I was looking for. So maybe it's something you're looking for, but just know that it's not the same as like, say, where I work. Um, where I have full benefits and even though I don't make too much money 
Um, I am an entry level position and I'm working myself my way up. That's something also to remember about getting a job out of college. Just because you may have been really good in school or what have you, doesn't mean that you, basically, let's say you were the big fish in the small pond or even a big fish in a big pond. You're, in my opinion, um, if you really want to do something, if you really want a career, a job, you kind of have to s a lot of times start at the bottom unless you do know someone and you're able to work up quicker. And you shouldn't be ashamed of that because everybody starts somewhere. So yeah, so this is kind of my overview about anybody that asked about my job. And I probably, I mean, people could probably find out pretty easily um, what I do. But I really don't want, like, too many people to be like, oh, no, 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 like, oh, this is Emily's job and, like, you know, whatever. Um, so I hope you guys respect uh, that. Um, so if you see someone, like, commenting, you know, personal information about me or whatever, like, I would please let me know or delete it, whatever. Um... Again, it's pretty easy to find, but, um, so if you ask me questions, unless I know you personally, um, I'm probably not going to answer spe super specific questions, um, about my job specifically, but if you need any help about other kind of things or, like, yourself finding a job, um, and kind of what to do, um, you can leave that in the comments below or message me, whatever you want, so, yep. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.